Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goyen. In our today's video, we will talk about civil service exam math review. And this kind of problem is under consecutive integer problems. Ngayon, paano natin solve yung ganong klaseng problem? We have here, find three consecutive integers whose sum is 78. I will try to give you three different methods. And I will go first with the proper one, which is using algebra. So we have here, three consecutive integers. If you want to represent three consecutive integers algebraically, you will represent the first as x, the second as x plus 1. x plus 1 yun dahil yung difference ng consecutive integers from first to second to third or on the other is plus 1 lang naman. And for the third integer, we will represent that as x plus 2. Since we're trying to get the sum, whose sum is 78, add natin silang tatlo, x plus x plus 1, third, x plus 2, and sabi dito, their sum is 78. Agay natin dito, add natin tong x plus x plus x, that is, 3x, then your 1 plus 2 is plus 3 is equal to 78. Transpose natin to the other side yung 3, it will become 3x is equal to 78 minus 3, and that will give us 3x is equal to 75. Kailangan natin makuha yung value ng x, divide both sides by 3, cancel, cancel, your x is equal to, as you can see, this is how many? This is 25. Ito ngayon yung value ng x natin. Now, going back with the representation, since yung ating x is represented as the first integer, ang first integer natin dito is 25. And sabi doon, 3 consecutive integer. So, magkakasunod lang yan. If the first is 25, your second integer is 26 followed by the third integer which is 27 and these are the integers 25 26 and 27 you can add them up guys okay pwede nyo silang i-add up ngayon what is the other possible solution na pwede natin magamit or pwede nga turo sa inyo to make it faster or to solve it faster. So, gagawin nyo dito guys, pwede naman to. You can use the trial and error method. Trial and error. Pwede to. So, T-A-E. Trial and error method. Ngayon, sir, paano yan? Pwede mong gawin dito, add mo tong first kasi kailangan mo i-try ito kasi Kapag ginamit mong algebraic, medyo medyo mahaba yung time and most of the people who are doing civil service examination, hindi siya sila ganun kagaling sa algebra. And din naman lahat, ha, pero marami kasi hindi ganun well-versed algebra. So I would say na ano, you can use also trial and error method. Gagawin mo dito, add mo to lahat since sum naman ng ano natin. Hanggat makakuha tayong 78, add natin. We have 24 plus 25 plus 26, try natin, if mapag-came up tayo with 78. 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 6 is 5, carry 1, and this is only 75. So, hindi pwede tong mga numbers na to. So, hindi pwede yung letter A. Okay? Again, nakuha na natin yung sagot natin letter B, ha? What we're doing is, we're trying another method. Hindi pwede yung letter, letter B ang sagot, ha? Ngayon, since tapos tayo sa letter A, let's go with letter B. You have 25, 26 and 27. Add natin silang dalawa. So we have 5 plus 3, which is 11. Plus 7, that is 18. Carry 1. 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is 78. And as you can see, tied up pa rin sa ating sagot, which is letter B. Okay? So yun yung ating second method. So, yung trial and error, medyo maganda siya kung yung sagot ay nasa unahan. Sir, what about the other method na pwede ibigay sa amin yung third? Third method, pagkasya natin dito. 
Third method is, di ba, ang sum is 78, tapos 3 consecutive integers. Ang gawin mo muna, divide 78 by 3. Tayo natin na, 7 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract 1 and 18. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 18. As you can see, 0 na yan. Ngayon, para sa yung 26, ibig sabihin niyan, yung 26 is the average or middle. Ito yung nasa gitna. So, adjust natin ng konti ito. Okay? Meaning, para makuha mo yung first and third. Again, yung 26 is the, will serve as the middle of the three integers. So, magbawasan tayo ng isa. Meaning, this is 25. Yung first integer natin is 25. And this is 27. Kasha naman. As you can see, using the three different methods, the algebraic, this one, in trial and error or tae, and we have here 25, 26, and 27, using the averaging of the three integers. I hope guys you learned something from this video, and if you want to know more about our contents, about civil service examination, you can visit my Facebook page kasi meron tayong different package of review na pwede yung i-avail for you to have more knowledge before kayo mag-take ng civil service examination. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can also follow me on TikTok. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!